Okay. I was actually waiting. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. I was waiting since Good evening. you accepted. Let's pray. <clears throat> Our Father, we thank you so much. We glorify your name. We honor and give you all the glory. We adore you. Thank you so much for whom you are and what you are, what you continue to be. Thank you because we have come tonight. We are asking and praying that you will glorify yourself in our midst. And your name alone will be glorified. Your name alone will be honored. You will hear us tonight. And you will intervene in our situation. You will hear our brethren. And whatever is their our desire, every one of us, you will meet us at the point of our needs. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, you, Amen. Amen. And sorry, don't Amen. mind my. I I actually stress my voice, so I might not be able to really. I'll just be talking little by little. But whether I shout or not, God is not just in the shouting. Whatever we say here tonight, God will respond, and there will be answer from heaven in Jesus' name. I want to begin to open our mouth unto the Lord. Let's worship him in the beauty of holiness. Let's give him thanks. The Bible says, giving thanks unto the Father, who had made us to be partakers of the inheritance in light, who had delivered us from the powers of darkness, and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Let's bow down and bend before my own God. Let's worship him in the holiness God which would be allowed to be so gracious. God has been so amazing. He has been so glorious. He has been so wonderful. And we give him all the Give him all the, all the, all the, all the admiration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for your message. That it durates forever. Thank you once again for bringing us to this new week, O oh God. A week of happiness, a week of joy, a week of gladness, a week to celebrate your goodness, your faithfulness, your divine death in our lives, in our family. Again, because of the way you have been taking good care of us, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the good help you have given. Thank you for your hand that is upon us. Thank you for the message that I'm made for it. The reader is not the Lord in Jesus' name. Okay. Amen. Before we still give thanks to God, uh, we want to quickly share testimony. And so please let's not be every sharing what God is doing. I have just two testimony to share. They are not just, they are actually testimony, not just testimony. And this is the faithfulness of God. Number one is about what the Lord did for my wife during the just concluded crusade. As as the host, we were the host, and the years of it true, God showed us mercy here in Delta State. We cried before him day and night, vigil, all kinds of prayer, all kinds of demonstration, and in his infinite mercy, he came through for us. And then before the GC came, my wife was actually also expecting miracle. There was this particular, uh, this a thumb finger, the left, I think left thumb finger or right, I think should be right or left, I can't remember again now. So the pain had been there for, I think over a year now. She had even asked the medical doctor, the hospital where we use, they, okay, use this one, apply this one. That hand was literally, and if you touch the hand, the pain, can, is terrible. I mean, severe pain. When I mean pain, like she cannot use the, the hand there. It's like when a, a particular hand is not functional anymore, like it just somehow, that hand practically cannot do anything. Like to touch it is an issue and all of that. So sometimes she will feel the pain, serious pain. She had applied this, she had applied that. And then during the GCK, the first night, the GS mounted the stage and it was to pray miracle prayer. So my wife felt a sensation in her hand. So she knew something had happened. To cut a long story short, that was how God delivered her from something that had been over a year. That even the doctor hmm. recommendation could not work. That singular meeting took away that pain. 
So my wife refused to, uh, she wanted to be so sure she came to the arm. She now started using that hand. That hand was not functioning like every other hand, uh, like every other finger, rather. Uh -uh. She, she was practically amazed. We have to record a video and send it on Facebook just to show the goodness of God. And that was what the Lord did. Praise the Lord. Then yeah. the second Hallelujah. One testimony is about my, my MSc exam. Although I'm not done with the exam, but God did something. And that's, uh, you know, I told some of our pastor, and I'm sure maybe in their corner, they told God in the place of prayer to, sh to help me and all of that. And of course, being an MSc program, many of the professors, you don't see them showing up to come and lecture and all that. But thank God for the good background God has given me. And so this particular course, yes, I've taught some of my course mates and all of that. I've helped the people I want to help. But there's a particular area I had not touched uh, because two professors were on the course. And so I got to the exam all that day. It was already time for the exam, 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. I was in the exam all already. So I saw some of my classmates doing some things and all of that. Then I went to a lady who, part who particularly know that session, that particular session. And uh, it's not a very serious uh, stuff because I, not, I was not even there when the lecturer came to teach it once. Lo and behold, I just told the lady that my classmate that I don't know this particular. I was so particular with what I needed. Exam was to start. It was already past one. So many, it was just few minutes. So I just dragged, I just told her, okay, let's sit down here. I can learn it now, 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 and I will know it. Now, now, now. I don't think we spent up to 10 minutes. I, I can't remember the exam, but I don't think I sat with that there up to 10 minutes. Brethren, father, brothers, everyone. That was a compulsory question in the exam. That mm. thing I learned mm. because mm. that particular thing was a major compulsory question for the other prof. I'm not a full question, a mm. full blown. I learned a full blown question in less than 10. I don't think up to 10 minutes. I don't. And everything entered my, it was not funny. Like, as I got to the exam, that was the first thing I started with. Like, I was not wondering, okay, and if I had not learned it within those short minutes, there is nothing on earth that will make me to mm. be able to answer the question. Yes, I will still pass the course very well, but I would not have gotten the A that I'm, I'm talking about. I would not have even thought of the A now. But with that thing now, mm. I'm so happy. And I know that it was a divine connection. <laughs> I am very sure of that. So I really want mm -hmm. to thank His mercy for these two testimonies. So we want to open our mouth and give thanks to God for Praise His the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, before you go, I just want to bless the name of the Lord for that testimony. Because on Monday, we were supposed to meet. And uh, I just saw your message that uh, you're having exams. You will not be able to undo. Then uh, I tried to reach Pastor Matthew. I said I should not worry. He's going to play a recorded uh, uh, prayer meeting, which he did. And we just uh, me, him, and uh, one sister. I said, the sister is not online now because this pastor's prayer meeting. She's always with us. So by the time we finished that uh, prayer, it was really touching. It was just so live as if it was happening just that time. So by the time we finished, Pastor Matthew now told us that uh, thank God for this prayer. A lot of people join on, on uh, Facebook and things like that, on YouTube, that uh, it was great. So, but after we finished, what I want to bring out is we now took our time to really pray for you that God, God. should just make a way because you have truly served. It's not uh, praising you now. In this our group, we know that God has really used you to even bless a lot of us. There's no need to be proud here. Yeah. God has really used you to bless a lot of us. So that took our time to pray. So this testimony is just an honor to that prayer that we made, that truly mm. God answered prayer. Praise mm. the Lord. Hallelujah. I knew Amen. it. I knew it that people were praying somewhere. I knew it. I was in the exam one. I was so relaxed. I, I was like writing as if I was writing secondary school exam. 
I mm. was no no tension, nothing. No, I was too relaxed. Like like no tension. Even when some people were doing what they were doing, I was so relaxed. So that is the answer to prayer. Oh, we give you glory, Lord. We want to open our mouth. Worship the name of the Lord and give thanks Father, unto them. For the great Let's things you'll be doing for us. We thank you for this testimony. We thank you because this is to, to prove that you are God that has that prayer. We worship and bless your name. We worship and reference your name. We say glory, honor, and worship. Thank you, thank you, thank you, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I said, don't you ask of you, and you grant us, and this is exactly that is testifying of. We worship you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We say, glory on our nation. Thank you, God, to your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Thank you. Amen. Tonight, we want to pray a very serious prayer. And it's very amazing that Pastor Shego, the Spirit of God is one, when he told me about this prayer, and he told me the title. And that's the prayer that was handled in the particular vigil of Friday. I went for another vigil. The vigil I was supposed to be to, the title is, And God Remember. And God Remember. And here, where we are, God will remember all. And that's what we are praying Amen. about. So that the God of heaven will remember. Do we know that God Amen. actually remember? Let's see it quickly. Let's see it quickly. In First Samuel. First Samuel. Does God remember? Yes, he does. God remember. God remember. First Samuel chapter 1. We remember the case of Anna in verse 11 quickly. And she vowed, they vowed and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou indeed will look on the affliction of thy handmaid, and remember me, God will remember you, and not forget thy handmaid, but will give unto thy handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. Actually, this was a prayer. Did God, hear, did God answer her? Did, did God grant her a desire? Did she receive that which she asked of the Lord? Let's see quickly in verse 18, uh, verse 19. And they rose up in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord returned and came to their house to uh, Rama. And the Canaan knew his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Beautiful. And the Lord remember her. To you. And the Lord remember you. To you. And the Lord you remember will... me. Amen. And the Amen. Lord remember you. Genesis 21, Amen. verse 1. Genesis 21, verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Sarah was remembered. Anna was remembered. God's people in the days gone by, they were remembered. They cried to God and they were remembered. There's always a time in the life of every man. Tonight is our night. As many who have been saying, God, where are you? As many who have been saying, oh Lord, how long shall it be? As many who have been saying, when will God show up in their situation? Brothers and sisters, men and women, leaders and pastors, fathers of faith who are here, the Lord has remembered us tonight. We want to go before the Lord tonight. Ah, we want to tell him in the name of Jesus, the God that remember Anna, oh Lord, remember me. The God that remember, it's a supplication prayer. It's a cry prayer. It's a prayer before the Lord, making petition. And we are saying, oh Lord, remember us. Lord, remember us. Are you praying? Oh, Lord, remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Father, oh, Lord. Remember me. Oh, Lord. Remember me. Oh, Lord. Remember me. Oh, Lord. Remember me. Oh, Remember me. 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 Remember me.
In the name of Jesus. O oh, Lord, God, never when I come before your throne, O Lord, Father, I pray, I say, Lord, remember me, Lord. Father God, remember me, Lord. My Lord, the King, remember me, Lord. O Lord, God, never remember me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, I come before your throne. By your spirit and power, my Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I say, Lord, remember me, O Lord. Father, I say, Lord, remember me, O Lord. Father, I God, I'm asking my Father, God, that you remember me. Amen. 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 God, the God that remember Anna. Amen. Even when he shall test all of us. Amen. I'm going to say that. I say, verse 16. Malachi 3, verse 16. Then they that fear the Lord speak of one to another. It's our leaders and pastors' prayer. We fear the Lord. We are servants of the Lord. We fear the Lord. And the Lord acting and edit. And a book of remembrance was written. Father, a book of remembrance for us. Lord, remember. A book of remembrance. A book of remembrance. The Bible talks about a book of remembrance was written before him for them that fear the Lord that thought upon his name. You want to tell the Lord now. What book of remembrance are you asking the Lord? Is it a book of remembrance for job? Tell him now. Is it a book of remembrance for intervention in one area? Tell him now. Is it a book of remembrance for child Tell him now. Is it a book of remembrance to travel? Tell him now. Is it a book of remembrance for any area journey? A book of remembrance. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Remember me, O oh Lord, on behalf of my wife, on behalf of my children, Father God, on behalf of myself. This one can be, O oh Lord. Father, remember me, O oh Lord. Father, remember me, O oh Lord. Father, remember me, O oh Lord. God, you remember me for good, O oh Lord. Remember my wife, O oh Lord. This, just the post shall be praying for you, and the eyes shall be wishing. Oh Lord, go and we pray that you remember us, oh Lord. Father, remember us, oh Lord. Father, remember us, oh Lord, for good. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, go now we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Please, pastors, I encourage us, let's pray. I encourage us, let's pray. Now, I'm reading quickly from another place. In the book of Esther, Esther chapter 6. Esther chapter 6, verse 1. Oh, on that night could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of record. Another word for it that is a book of remembrance, the book of record mm. of Kodiko, and they were read before the king. And it was found written what, what how Mordecai had told of Big, uh, big Banner and Teresh, two of King Chamberlain's. The keepers of the gold of the door who sought to lay hand on the king as a as a home. And the king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for thee? Then said the king's servant that minister unto him, There is nothing done for him. <laughs> and the king said, Who is he in the court? Now Amen was come into outward court of the king out to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, a man standeth in the court, and the king said, Let him come in. So a man came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Now a man thought in his heart, To whom the king delighted to honor, to, to do more than to myself. And a man answered the king for the man, and then he began to say, Day. Would you know that that night the king could not sleep? He couldn't sleep because somebody's destiny was at stake. He couldn't sleep because there was an intervention. We want to pray. Tonight, my destiny ever will locate me. Do you know? Uh, I want to say something. Uh, many of our people do not believe in what they call destiny ever. Uh, and uh, they don't know that if God is going to, uh, Satan is going to destroy a man, he will send man. He will send the human being that he will send. And if God is mm. going to uh, go, going to bless a man, if God is going to bless a man, it is still man that is going to send to that man. 
There are people we call destiny helpers. There are people who come into your life. The, the speed at which they will carry your case in their head, in their head will be amazing. Mm. I am telling you, some people mm. that we are the, uh, as a result of the association, the people God sent into their life. Do you know there are those who got job into oil company, Chevron Shell? No stress. They didn't stress themselves. I mean, no stress at all. They just got a call. Okay, someone said you should submit your CV, blah, blah, blah. Uh, God led me this. God led me that. I will not be my destiny helper. The Bible said the king could not sleep that night. I want to pray, oh God, wherever my destiny helper is, if they are far away from me, you will bring them closer. I shall locate them. They shall oh, locate me. They shall find me. Father, Lord, in they, the name of Jesus, my God me. and my Father, God, I look unto you, oh God, wherever my destiny helper may be. Oh God, send them unto me, my Father God. If they are very far away, oh God, bring them closer. Almighty God, by your power and by your spirit, oh God, bring them closer unto me, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father God, I'm asking, oh God, that to bring my destiny helper, oh God, closer to me, oh God. Father God, I'm asking, oh King of glory, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, O oh God, bring my destiny helper closer and closer unto me, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Heavenly hey, Father, hey, God, I'm asking oh God, send help unto me from your sanctuary. Hey, bring yeah. your destiny helper unto me, O oh God. As you did in the case of Joseph, he was remanded inside the prison. Yes, God of heaven, by your mighty hey, divine help, oh God. Raise up Pharaoh to help him out. Oh God, do it once again in my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. A lot is going on in Nigeria. A lot is going on. Many mm. lives affected. Many, many lives. Many situations. We want to mm. cry to God. Prayer point that is coming later. And that's going to sound in form of warfare. I'm coming for warfare later. But let's take this prayer now. As many of our leaders and pastors and members on this platform who are eating from hand to mouth, who are weeping, a colleague called me this evening and he was telling me something very pathetic. And uh, just last week here in my in my church, I, you, you find a woman literally crying and weeping. And she, I, I needed to be sure whether she's not having issue with her husband. And then I got to understand, oh, 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 is it because of this? And then she was a married woman. And that led me to make a, make a post on Facebook that the pain is real. People are going through literary pain, real pain. There are families that are completely disenchanted. They are confused. Things are just going a wire here and there. Many are becoming hopeless with the situation of the country. And here we are. We want to cry unto God to come to the rescue of God's people. In the old days in the Bible, in time of famine, God took care of the people. God will not abandon his people. Job will be created in the name of Jesus. All our pastors will be taken care of. The God of heaven will take care of their family. The God of heaven will lift them up in their job. God will promote them. And God. God. God will Father not God God, I look unto you, Jehovah God. Almighty God, I am asking my Father God, Lord, remember this family concern, O oh God, Lord, and every member, every pastor on this platform, everyone on this platform, living from hand to mouth, O oh God, particularly because of the situation in our nation, Nigeria. Almighty God, our eyes upon you, God. Please, O oh God, remember us for good, O oh Lord. Let your mercy prevail over judgment, O oh God. Father, let your mercy prevail, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your mercy of In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The story was told of a man of God. This man of God was going through a lot of issues, going through a lot of, you know, things were really bad for him. I mean, literally bad for him. 
and it was it was going to serious serious poverty and eventually it will go to places it will minister things will happen because it was being used mightily by god and then they will want to give instead of giving him honorarium or whatever they want to give him they will make promise or, or so or whatever but they don't get back to him things were so bad for him eventually he took it seriously and he decided to wait on the lord as we were told for three days and then in the course of the waiting on the law the lord he, he saw a vision where somebody was asking him give me my money give me my money give me my money and then he was wondering i'm not owing you how do i get and all of that and then i think whether the vision went and he saw another vision and then whether that particular vision went and he saw another one or so where he now saw that uh, uh, that that debt was paid. Remember, the vision was saying, give me my money, give me my money. And he was wondering, he was not owing this person. So how could the person be asking for money he was not owing? And then eventually, uh, whether it was in the same vision or another day, in this one now, that debt was paid for him. And then eventually, there was explanation to it of his, uh, whether a uh, grandfather or so, I think it should be grandfather or maybe father, was all these people who drink and went lemon and all that. And then he will drink, he will not pay, he will drink, he will not pay. So somebody lay a course and probably lay a course on their genealogy because of the reckless life of the grandfather and all that. And that's how some people have brought perpetual bondage and destruction upon their family. You, you see a pattern in a family, either brother is poor, the younger brother is poor, the one that are following poor, everywhere is poor. And unfortunately for these people, they will not know that something is orchestrating this poverty. They will think it's of God. They will think it's the will of God. When something becomes a pattern, you don't ignore it. You don't overlook it. Spiritual people, sometimes you have to interpret situation. If it's happening to either brother, mm -hmm. it's happening to younger, mm -hmm. it's happening to this one, it's mm -hmm. happening to this one. And a pattern is following. No, it cannot be by accident. Mm. It must have been something, mm. someone I want to pray. Every demonic pattern, evil pattern among our pastors, among their family members, every demonic no, pattern. Everlasting Father, God, this night we come to you, God. Subscribe. God, everlasting Father, God, as I look at my lineage, oh God. Lord, the, the paternal side, the maternal side, oh God, every evil pattern, every demonic pattern that have been affecting, that have been trading out our, our lives, our destiny, oh God, all those evil patterns of ignorance, all those evil patterns of poverty, all those evil patterns of living with the dead, all those evil patterns of mysterious happening, oh God. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father God by your power, let every evil pattern be broken and be destroyed. This hour tonight, oh God, I'm asking my Father God tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, those evil patterns that is affecting our life, that is affecting our bringing, that is affecting our finances, that is affecting every area our family, that is affecting from generation to generation, oh God. Let the power in the blood of Jesus to destroy everything, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I'm asking Asking my father God, Lord, we to responsible for the yoke, my father God. Let all that evil, that yoke, that yoke of the anointing in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have to pray up point quickly. Number one, on the on the on the in Nigeria, every scavenger that have risen up in this country, scavenger, you know scavenger in biology. All those scavengers mm. who have made up their mind. They will eat this country, eat dead people, eat dead life, waste this country, waste it to stupor, waste it completely, and destroy life, and cause a lot of man, and cause a lot of harm and evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, because thou loveth to share blood, thy blood shall be given to thee. In the name of Jesus, all the men of evil, deny blessing, who have determined to waste life, 
who are determined to destroy Nigeria in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall arrest them all everywhere. Oh all the men God, of the Lord, Father, Father God, God, in the name of, of Jesus Christ. All God, those God, evil God, men in our nation that are living like scavengers, oh God, to bring the nation to stupor, to bring the nation to zero level. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, Lord, arise, oh God, and begin to fight on our behalf of Father God. Against all those evil men by your power, you will remove them out of the position of authority, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let, oh God, let your fiery judgment, oh God, let it come upon, let it come upon such evil. Evil men, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, on those evil men who have covenant with the devil to wreck this nation and to destroy it and to bring it to bring it down to zero level, oh God, Almighty God, arise in the greatness of your power. Arise to God, frustrate, oh God, even all the plans of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to say something. This is my last prayer point. And I want to say something. And am I am I likely to track this prayer request, this prayer point? Am I likely to track it? Or if I don't track it because I'm I'm dealing with fathers, leaders, and the rest, but because there's a very strong faith in my heart as I speak now, God will answer this prayer. This is a prayer. This is a prayer. As many of us here who are connected, whether we are connected or some are not connected, and you really want God to remember you for a particular thing. Now, this one we are not praying out, just quietly. It can be marriage, it can be finance, it can be job, it can be parenting, it can be ministerial, it can be spiritual, any area. And we also quietly ask, and we also quietly ask, but you need it this month. I mean, between now and I don't care how big that thing is. Now, there is this song, Owa Oluwa Mbe, Lori Ayemi, O, Don't be me fo, Don't be me sorry. Owa Oluwa Mbe, Lori Ayemi, Owa Oluwa Mbe, Lori Ayemi, O, Don't be me fo, that song is what we are going to experience just the way Elijah ran ahead of air to Jezreelites. We want to pray right now. What do you want? It's a blanket check. What do you want? Pastors, how do you want God to remember you? How exactly do you want it? How exactly do you want it? How exactly do you want it? Let's pray now. Quietly, let's pray now. And that's the end. Over to Pastor Shego. Mighty God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus, Oh, my God and my Father God, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, we give you all the praises. Lord, we appreciate you once again tonight. Because this is September to remember. September to be remembered. Lord, we have had a testimony in the scripture. Scriptures. Of those people that, oh, it took them a longer time. People like Sarah, Abraham and Sarah. Of course, the Bible says Abraham, Abraham staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But he was strong in faith and and of course, he was fully persuaded that what God had promised him, he was able also to perform. He waited patiently for God's promise to be realized in his life. What are we going to say about Anna? Of course, Anna also waited, and of course, she prayed in Shiloh. She had been going to Shiloh every year, every time, every moment. 
Yet at that point in time, when the provocation became so much coming from the rivalry, from the rival, uh, you know, uh, the, the rival wife, of course, the, from Penina, it was so big, it was becoming very embarrassing. Yet she had to cry to God and say, oh God, remember me, remember me. And of course, God asking to her voice, Father, we look unto you, O God of heaven. As we look at the case of Mephibosheth, a man that was abandoned in Lodiba, and of course, that all hope was gone. He was was even limp on his feet. Yet a time came, you used the instrument of David, a destiny helper, even to remember Mephibosheth. What are we going to say about Joseph? A man that was remanded inside a prison, yet all hope was lost as if there was nothing going to happen again to him. Yet you use Pharaoh, the, the hidden king, to remember him at that point in time. Great God, we look unto you, God. Look at every one of us on this platform, all our pastors, all our brothers, all our sisters. Father, we are praying, oh God, let the book of remembrance be opened unto everyone, oh God, as you did in the case of Mordecai, as you did in the case of these heroes of faith that trusted you. Let the book of remembrance be opened before us, oh God, attend to every need, where whether spiritual, physical, family, financial, material, oh God, attend to all our needs, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we are praying once again, oh God, no matter the diversity of the needs in the heart of all your bread, all, all the people of God, Father, we pray, oh God, some are marital, some are financial, some in business wise, some in the area of making progress in their career. We are praying, oh God of heaven, you will attend to every need of our lives in Jesus' name. Okay. We pray, O oh God, by your mighty supernatural divine connection, you will connect us, O oh God, to our destiny, help us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. We we'll give you all the praises, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Over to Pastor Martin. Pastor Matthew. Is Pastor Matthew online? Pastor Matthew. Pastor Matthew, sir, are you online? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. And we, are, and we are waiting for him to connect. Is it is it oh. is here is here? Can Pastor Matthew? <laughs> is it not here? Maybe it's not there. It's online, but uh, it's no, not responsible. Yeah, he's connected. Um. Okay. Uh, let's use this opportunity by the grace of God now to pray for our pastor, Pastor Matthew's case that has been in the court for some time now. We want to lift up our hands unto heaven. We want to pray. The other time we prayed about this matter, we talked to God and we said, God, let it be the last time that we don't want this case to continue because it's engulfing yes, a lot of money. We want Hello, to pray to God. Hello? Uh, good. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Please, we have been waiting for you, sir. That's I'm very sorry. We are I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry. You are going to pay, you are going to pay $400. It is why. Well. <laughs> it is why. <well. laughs> <laughs> Let's let, let call upon the name of the Lord. There is something that is bothering me since yesterday, and we pray about it on the... That was on, on, on Thursday. And that's about our bad rights. To me, the year is going to an end. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are not going to be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. I've told many of us, out of 100 people, that 
the are uh, any prophecy or they are hearing promises or they are hearing about what the end of their life will be only five percent they realize it uh, and then when we are talking about the prophecy we are not talking about the one the prophets only or want somebody to you but we are talking about even the prophecy we have had in the Bible that uh, uh, we know is supposed to have come to pass. <coughs> we have been on this prayer if they are a good prophet. Uh, prophet. Uh, I'm very sorry to say, not because he called me this afternoon and played with me. <laughs> a good prophet will have in our ministry, Pastor Ali. He know how to take a lot of promises in the Bible and tell us that what this is what it is. As a leader, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we must be a little bit ahead of the followers. Either in experience, either in uh, biblical knowledge, either in our record, either in our attitude, either financially. It gives us a li- it give us a lot of respect. But when there's a challenge in the life of a leader, uh, he has to look to the follower before the, the problem is solved. Go and look at it. There will always be lack of respect. That kind of the leader. And uh, I know it's not the will of God. It's not the promises in the Bible uh, that what we are experiencing, we are experiencing it. Like some of somebody like me challenge. Oh, oh, uh, please let me lower this. Uh, uh, when you want to cancel somebody, and you want to cancel it in the area and mapping challenges. Do you know the, what the people will say? If uh, they they will make the Yoruba law uh, proverb that whosoever will give somebody a cloth away, you will look at the one he wear in, in his in, in, in his neck. So the same thing in all other areas. So as a result of that, as the year is coming to an end, we need to take the challenge up. If God can answer the prayer of, see, I can call it the chorus, because I like calling something in Yoruba language. Jabez, anyway. If God can answer his prayer in one minute, I don't know, by the power and the blood of Jesus, how, how our own prayer will not be answered. And I know by the power and the blood of Jesus that it's going to answer it in Jesus' name. So in all areas we are having challenges, we are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Are we hearing me? Hello? We are hearing you. We are hearing you. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. The King of King, King of uh, Lord of Lord. Ah, uh, like Jabez, that where I am is not where I want to be. I want to go. I I want to be at eight. And I know oh, you God. can do it. It is your promise. It is your Lord, promise. Lord, that Lord, I Lord, Lord, that Lord, it to be. Lord, As Lord, many Lord, promises you can Lord, you can Lord, remember Lord, in the Bible, present it before Lord, Almighty God. If it is lack Lord, of wisdom, Father, this time Lord, around, give it to me. Lord, if it is lack of Lord, knowledge. God, this time around, give it to me. If it is lack of understanding, Almighty God, able to fly, give it to me. If it is lack of material thing, oh Lord, you know, give it to me. If there are any hindrances, Almighty Father, that do not let me achieve my dream. Almighty and God as I'm, as, as me, they are calling me leader. 
I am. I am spirit and my father once again, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord. God, I'm asking, oh God, take me This is we call, they will soon take our phone, but don't forget, we will still continue in the night by the grace of the Lord. So call upon the name of the Lord. Present yourself before Almighty God. What is that thing that is bothering you? Mighty God, what is that thing? Lord, I don't want to be that do not let you be a leader indeed. Mighty God, you can What is that thing that do not let you excel? What is that thing that people can see in you, but the follower are not seeing in you and that let you lack respect? Me As a leader, around. call upon the name of the Lord, Almighty oh, Father. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus. Restore my dignity, O oh Lord. Restore my the, the Lord everlasting Father. In the name of Jesus. Restore your as as he, as your son. It is your will that I have an upper hand, and that's why you call me a leader. Almighty God, I'm asking Call upon the name of the Lord by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. In all area of our life, in all area of my activity, in all area of things. Father, let me a real leader indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. God of heaven. Talking around for me, O Lord. In my marriage, financially, materially, physically. I call upon your name, Almighty God. Turn things around for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every talent to every Matter, turn things around for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, it is not impossible for you if you can do it for all other people. If you can do it in the Bible, and the Bible let me know you are the God of today, the God of yesterday, the God of tomorrow. That means you are my own God. Never die. Call upon the name of the Lord. Whatsoever that is blocking my heritage as your son in my family or my children or myself or my wife, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, it is time. The Bible says, I will turn it around, I will turn it around, I will turn it around until it becomes to the person that belongs to.